But at this moment, we want to hear from a man who headed at some point the institution that issues mining licenses hmm, to miners. Because we understand that this war is not just about illegal miners. There are some licensed companies that are engaged in illegal mining. And so we want to find out where is the missing link? What has to be done differently? Dr. Tony Oben is former CEO of the Minerals Commission. Please, let's put our hands together for him to share a brief speech with us. Thank you very much. And uh, let me, I'm sure there have been protocols already, and I wouldn't waste time on any protocols just to acknowledge all of us here and also uh, 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 render my, my gratitude to the organizers of this program. It's extremely important. In this country, I think truth and honesty has become a very hard commodity. To speak truth to power is a risky activity these days. And so um, when we see A, we say it's Z or X, and until we start confronting the truth and committing to addressing issues thereof, we are not going to go anywhere. The issue of Galamse address, I hope it's, 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 it's okay, yes. We know the, 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 the way to address them, but we deliberately decide to talk about them. We have become a talk shop. Um, you will recall when COVID hit, it took the leadership of this country, in fact, it took the president a speech from his window, like the Pope giving the blessings to people who visit him in Vatican, for all of us to sleep. He said, fellow Ghanaians, sleep. If you don't sleep, COVID will catch you, and all of us. It, 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 not everybody was happy with that, but by the force and the power that was vested in our president, he said that everybody went to sleep. Why are we mining on water bodies, which the law says clearly don't? There's no law in Ghana that allows anyone to mine in water bodies. So anytime you see anybody on water bodies, by default, the person is doing illegal mining. The lawyers say that somebody must prove illegality. But this one there, yeah, it's a conspicuous one. The law says simply, don't mine on water bodies. And even when concessions are granted, these concessions are granted 100 meters away from water bodies. Water Resources Commission says 30 meters. Minerals Commission says 100 meters. And do you know how long, how long 100 meters is? You have to go to the stadium where one goal post is and the Arana goal post where people are struggling to score, that's about 100 or 110 meters. That's how far small scale mining or Galamse must be away from water bodies. So the water bodies that we see being spoiled, we see them. Security people see them, they go there. And, and, and I'm happy to see my, my uncle here, uh, General. Yes. So, so, so I think these are things that we see and we are not doing anything. I know. I have witnessed and I've written about the fact that sometimes getting to elections time, candidate, presidential candidate goes around and say, oh, ask for, they know. In their heart, they don't agree with what they are saying. But to please the people, they say it. They, 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 they say that oh, when I come, I'm saying no problem. It is not only yesterday. It wasn't only 2016. That, and it wasn't only one candidate who has said that before. And then when they come, they want to sort of address the situation. It is because the citizens have not added our voices to some of these things. The question is not about stopping small-scale mining. For me, I mean, not, not now. I'm not saying stop it forever. Eventually, even if there will be moratorium, there will be uh, some stoppage and all that, yes, that is possible. But eventually, since you have gold under the belly of our earth, God has given that to us, and God is testing us to see how wise we are to exploit, to exploit them without doing the damage that we are doing to ourselves. So I think, I believe that the president is listening 
and watching some of these programs, and I'm sure you would, you would take some of the comments we make, not in, in, a, in a negative way, but in a positive way. How can we make a law? And I, I, I've been thinking, I've been wondering why that law, that LI was passed. The LI that allows for mining in the forest. In fact, proud to that, there was a policy that 2%, it's only 2% of our reserve forest would be allowed for exploration. And when some finds are, 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 are you know, made, um, you know, mining, and that there were some rigorous requirement for you to first get the access to the place, you needed forest entry permit. And then after your processes, there were some rigorous requirement for you to even mine. So in the midst of the cry, against illegal mining. In the midst of the cry globally that we need our forests to sequestrate carbon dioxide. And then we sit down and think and draft a, a, a regulation that says, oh, go to the forest. You don't need forest entry permit. We know the, the problem, and we are causing them more. I, I, I can't take far. I wonder self. The young people say these things. I wonder self. <laughs> 